Hello Aquarians and cross watchers. welcome to your reading. So this is just uh, an afternoon quickie, going to see what wants to come out. It's not going to be a very long reading, but I always do um, my guided everyday readings at 10.30 Eastern Standard Time, PM. Alright, so if you want to tune into that, that's every night no matter what. Um, the afternoon readings are kind of like uh, just quicker, or maybe it's going to be a video, you know, a video request, a reading we requested uh, by the majority of people, or it could be the weekly. Now, I'm going to put the weekly reading up for Sunday, and it's going to be from Monday through Sunday. So there's like uh, to get a uh, perhaps get a head start depending on where you're living. But I'm going to try to get those um, the weekly reading Monday through Sunday out tomorrow which is Sunday where I'm at so let's see who wants to come out I've already said my prayers I want to be the first to let you know that you're so beautiful and you're so needed in this world and thank you for being here and sharing your time and your energy with me I'm using some different cards today we've been getting a lot of energy of someone returning and I really want to get messages about you guys okay about you you maybe your spiritual uh, path where things are headed or, or money or abundance um, We're just going to see what wants to come out. This is just a quickie reading All right, I am going to close out with angel messages. We have grounding. All right grounding so When we see grounding it tells us to ground ourselves. It's always usually in nature. It's just easier that way Okay, you can walk outside barefooted um, or just even walk in your house barefooted you can hug a tree you can meditate you you might even see feathers okay or might interact with birds pay attention to squirrels and things like this just in your environment in general meditation being in the moment practicing presence it's a great way to ground yourself it's also a great way to allow the frequency to open up for you to receive your own channeled messages your own guided messages even sometimes you know your loved ones on the other side will send songs. Sometimes your divine counterpart will send songs. You know, just pay attention without letting your mind run off with you. A uh, good way to know if your mind is running off with you is if you're just, you know, you start thinking about things that happened in the past or you start obsessively thinking about a person. And then you might want to just sort of, you know, ground yourself. Just focus on your breathing, right? Pay attention. That's an easier way to ground yourself. Uh, pay attention to your breath. And not bad breath, but pay attention to your breath, you know. Um, you put your hand on your chest, even if it helps you. Ground yourself. I feel when that message comes out, Spirit's trying to give you a message. I'm going to clarify. I'm going to pull nine cards, okay? And I see the Emperor. I see the Emperor. And that talks about taking your power back if I just want to take it away from because we already know divine counterpart energy has been coming out but I also want to talk about you I want to talk about you we have a tower <laughs> I'm not gonna let this person come out okay So there might be two ways this reading goes today. Some of these cards did come out in the pre-shuffle, all right? And it's, it's, it's talking about a path here. Now, um, like I said, I've already told you guys and countless readings, and I know it's coming out in a lot of other readings, that there is a return of a person, okay? And I wanted to use all different cards to make sure, because I cleanse my cards very well. Um, I have a whole system and process of cleansing my cards and look different cards this is a brand new deck hasn't even been used this has very rarely been used and same message so I'm going to add also a higher meaning to this message okay a higher self meaning so right off the bat we already know um, there's a person who wants to return and that is also showed up right here nine of cups wish fulfillment the Emperor tower okay a divine counterpart yang energy Emperor divine masculine wants to return okay it could be a boss it could be all right um, 
But I see you in the energy of protecting yourself. First of all, we have um, we have the guardian here, the woman of crystals. We have the seven of wands, and we have the four of crystals. So you have been focusing on you. So we have a person who wants to return, most likely because you're focusing on you. You might be doing shadow work. You might be meditating, grounding yourself, okay? Um, you've definitely raised your standards as far as you've raised the bar, okay? It's not easy um, I'm not saying that it's hard, but I'm saying whoever you were before, your 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 boundaries are higher, all right? And um, it's got someone looking at you here, okay? An emperor and about ready to have a tower. So we have strong Aries here um, with that, but we also have Leo, but it can be any sign. I just want you to know because I have wands, I have cups, I have crystals, and I have worlds, and that is all that's... That's air, fire, earth, and water. So I have all of it here. The outcome is strength. And usually, traditionally, strength is like the lion tamer. The empress tames the beast. The beast being the divine counterpart here. Uh, let's just see how, what else wants to come in. Now, if we want to put this in the perspective of take this divine counterpart out. If there's something... That you're trying to build in your life. Nine of Cups. There's, a, there's something that you really want for yourself. It talks about taking your power. It also talks about structure. Because the Emperor energy builds structure. And the Empress energy nurtures it. The Emperor creates an environment. And the Empress nourishes this. So the environment thrives. So there's a wish here. But with the tower, it may be time to start over. So not even talking about any sort of divine counterparts. If this is just you and you alone, higher self stuff, it might be time to restructure your life, change some things that put you in a better outcome, that protects yourself physically, spiritually, you know, emotionally. And maybe you have some sort of vision. We have the seer card with the sage of wands. Maybe you have some sort of vision. And it's saying to hold on to this vision. And ending in strength. So if you have a vision. Hold on to that vision. So we have here. Ten of cups. Hmm. Ten of cups here. That, this nine of cups leads to the ten of cups. We have the empress. It did want to come out in the reverse. These cards aren't meant to be taken in reverse. But this tells me that it King of Cups. There is a person here about ready to lose. It could be somebody who has, um, you know, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces in their chart. It, they could have Taurus, uh, Libra in their chart. They don't have to. But this is the Empress reverse. The Emperor is in the upright. So this is a person who is missing the Empress. And this is a person who... For me, in this King of Cups reverse, this is someone who's not going to be very stable or grounded. All right? Not stable or grounded. I have to also say that if this is just you, you're working on what brings you happiness, okay? Working on what brings you happiness with that Ten of Cups. Um... Trying to attract the right, maybe a person, okay, or the right person to partner up with. And King of Swords, Aquarius energy. And this is, I feel like you've put a lot of thought into something. You could be dealing with another Aquarius here, but I feel like you're focusing on you with this Eight of Pentacles. You're focusing on you. You're not worrying about whatever these seven of swords were here. This is on the bottom of the deck. Tell me about the woman of crystals. The emperor. I mean. You're focused on you. Possibly a divine masculine is focused on you. A yang energy can be male or female. Okay, gender don't apply when it comes to yin and yang. But like I say, if there's nobody, there's nobody, and this is just you and your higher self, 
This is you attracting this abundance and you might be creating or opening a business or creating some form of um, structuring something for yourself, making a plan even for yourself. Because I do see vision here and, you know, if you're not dealing with anyone else, this is you creating some sort of so bringing something into reality that you've envisioned. Maybe it's taken a while. We have the Knight of Pentacles. This is um, Virgo energy. You also could have a divine counterpart who is any of the signs that I've mentioned and it's taken a long time. We have a high priestess, but I feel like no matter what, um, I feel like you know what you need to do because this is clarifying here, this tower card. This is Pisces Virgo energy. And if this is a person in the Yang energy, divine masculine coming toward you, they know exactly what they want and it's you. We have the Nine of Cups on the bottom. So two messages in this short little reading. Again, I still get the message that somebody is coming toward you. Someone that it's taken a long time to get this started. But like I say, if you're not dealing with anyone else, and this is just you and your higher self, you're, 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 having, you're, you're having a lot of things go on right now in your psyche. You're having a lot of things go on. Um, you, you're really thinking about how to restructure your next step or the rest of your life, how you want things to go, how you want how you want your life to be built from this day forward with this Ten of Cups and with this vision, okay? If you don't have a divine counterpart returning or a person coming in, okay, then this is you trying to structure the rest of your life because you have a vision and you're holding that vision. Tell me about the four crystals here, the lovers. Hmm. But I'm telling you, somebody's got their eye on you. Someone's got their eye on you, and if they don't, this is you manifesting this vision that you have of you and another person, okay, building a life together and starting over, because that's what this reading is talking about. This reading, no matter what, whether you're going to be dealing with someone or not, this is all about your wishes, what you want for yourself and for your life. This is about a new beginning. Aquarius is here with the Fool. Aquarius is here with the King of Swords. The Lovers is Gemini. We have... Pisces, Virgo with the High Priestess, Virgo with the Knight of Pentacles, Leo with the Strength card. We have, like I said, all the signs are pretty much here with the elements. Um, Aries is strong, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, King of Cups, Scorpio, Water Energy. So whatever you want for yourself is possible. It's possible. That would mean you already have a vision. But some of you, this is a person coming toward you because you're focused on you and you're attracting. You're attracting a person. Now, I don't see like a return card, but it could be a person returning. But it just seems like it's a person coming in. If it's that, it's taken a while. Maybe you manifested this and it's taken a while for it to happen. But I see if it's a person coming toward you, the thing is they already know you because they're thinking about you. But if it's not a person coming toward you, this is a dream. Um, this is not really a dream. It's something you've actually manifested to come toward you to uh, that you're attracting because you send it out into the ethers. It's a vision that you've had that you've not let go of. And it will come to fruition. Let's close out with a... Angel card for bonus. Nice little afternoon quick reading, but it's a good reading. Two messages. Don't forget, two messages came out here. I don't know which side you're on. We have Serena. It says, I am the angel of abundance. You will receive money that you need, and God is in charge of how that will happen. So I, I enjoy that you're going to receive money. And I do see with the emperor and the empress, and I do see with the vision that you have. If you're li literally working on a vision, a manifestation, don't lose sight of that okay it's coming but i do see for some of you there is a person coming and they've got their eye on you and they're having some sort of emotions about you like they're deep in their feelings about this so anyway i'll see you in your next reading i love you guys and namaste my friends